Do you see a jack o' lantern face whatsoever? These guys look fat. I will say they have faces. This is a scam. Cool. I feel like this guy's gonna be like What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to like a regular vlog not like a like going to a theme park kind of vlog and stuff like that we're gonna do some like nice halloween goodie stuff today i went to target the other day and i saw this and i was like i want to make these and then next to it it actually had like like little jack-o-lanterns to make like cupcakes we're gonna make some cupcakes, some Halloween cupcakes. And I also bought some icing and all that kind of stuff. So I bought some white icing. This one's gonna have like the star kind of tip of it. We're gonna also use some orange icing. And this one also has a star tip on it. Also, it's very windy outside and it's finally cold. I know that it's gonna start getting hot, a little bit hot. Hopefully it doesn't even go higher than 90. Again, hopefully not go on. We're gonna go ahead and pour this onto one bowl as well as one cup of water, half a cup of oil, as well as three eggs. The third one is down there, I couldn't grab it. <laughs> I also have some little googly eyes. Uh, wanted to make some mummies. We'll see how that goes. Don't have a Halloween whisk. Just pretend this is a Halloween whisk and not a Christmas whisk. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys actually know that I like to bake during the holidays and do a lot of fun like baking videos and stuff like that. I actually went to Costco the other day and I saw a cookbook, baking kind of book. It just literally has everything of the Nightmare Before Christmas themed goodie. Let me know if you want to see that because I would be... I would definitely like make make videos of that and just like see how they are. You know how like last year the rave was the little like bombs, like the chocolate bombs, like the hot cocoa bombs. They have something like that as a jack o' lantern, like Jack, Jack Skellington, but there's like chocolate inside of it and then whipped cream and then his like Christmas hat. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I should put it all the way to the top or halfway because. Yeah, I don't know how much they're gonna rise, so I'm just gonna put it all the way to the top because I feel like I'm fat and thick. Yeah, so today after this, um, I'm actually gonna go to the pumpkin patch and we're gonna go to a new one. We're actually gonna go to one near Moore Park. And here comes Buddy being a scaredy cat as he is. This dog right here, where is he? Right there. He's scared of every little beep. If my phone beeps, if the alarm beeps, any kind of beeping noise, he freaks out. <laughs> Why are you always scared? Yeah, so we're gonna go to the pumpkin patch today. I wanna go to an actual pumpkin patch and like walk around into the fields where they make them, where they like grow the pumpkins. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and see that. I'm gonna take you guys with us. I'm gonna go with Chris. I, we were gonna go as a little group with his sisters and one of the sister's boyfriends but they ended up not being able to go. I'm not entirely sure why. I just wanna go to an actual pumpkin patch. That's all I wanna do. I don't want to go to the ones where they just like sell the pumpkins from like the one where they actually grow them as well and it's like a bigger one with a big field and everything that's basically it i don't know if you see them they are quite overfilled that's fine cool 19 minutes it's 10 41 so at 11 o'clock i will come back okay it has been about like 22 minutes let's go and see how they look like oh my god these guys look Fat. Okay, I need to like poke it so I should see if they're ready. Hold on. Um, no. I'll leave it in there for like five more minutes. Okay, I'm literally gonna record this just in case I'm able to take them off already. Um, with my nails, I tried like lifting it a bit and I think I'm actually able to lift it even though they are super hot. I don't see the face. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I, I don't see the face. Do you guys see the- I don't see the face. Do you see a jack-o'-lantern face whatsoever? Like, could, I don't- I don't even know. Okay, so for those, I feel like I could like- I feel like they'll cool down in like 20 minutes or so when those come out. So, I'm gonna cut the top parts or like the back of it. 
And then I'm definitely going to decorate them. And I'm thinking of like putting these right where the eyes and the mouth are supposed to be instead of doing it on the back side because that was my first plan, but then also like the round so I don't want them to like tip over. Um, I might just do that, just put it where the eyes are. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try and do this now. You can't really go wrong with these. I'm just gonna try my best to like make them like the jack-o'-lantern faces. Maybe then you'll be able to tell that they're jack-o'-lanterns. Um, but let's go ahead and start. Okay, so I don't think you're ready. Um, I will say they have faces. They, they don't look like jack-o'-lanterns anymore. But here they are. <laughs> look, I'm not the best at icing, especially with that one. It's very hard. Um, some of them do have teeth. They have fangs. Um, they're cute. That's all I can say. They look like they have noses. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? They just taste good, okay? Let's just, just... A for effort. They're probably still gonna taste good. I'm already in the car. I'm about to head out to go pick up Chris. And then we're gonna go to the pumpkin patch, which I am very excited about. I didn't realize how big this place was. Wow. This looks interesting. And the corn maze. Ring a pumpkin? Ooh, let's get temporary tattoos. I don't know. We'll see what happens. That dude is scary. He's scary. Oh my god, it looks so like empty over here. <laughs> There's a big old pumpkin house. Yeah, look at the look at the pumpkin house. Pumpkin house. Oh shit. <laughs> so is this what you wanted to see, Chris? Nope. No? Why? I want it bigger. Bigger? I mean, we're here. This but it is, is better than the live one. Yeah. Three dollars each. Oh, they've already been picked. This is a scam. This is a scam. I thought you'd pick your own. They've already been like cut. Did you like that one? Yes. You wanna grab it? Yes. Okay. Where's pumpkin? Out of okay. how many? Just, that's it. I'm only getting one. None of these have numbers, so I don't know how much are each gonna be. So I'm scared to pick like a nice one and it's gonna be like $40-$50. Oh, it's like I'm shaking it and like it keeps it still. Okay, so pick one then. Pick one? Okay. Well, I was zoomed in on your face. <laughs> I haven't seen anybody pick anything here, so I don't even- So pretty. <laughs> Is she gonna choose which one? Oh, did she choose one? Oh shit, shit's massive. You expect these to be heavy? But they're pretty light? Yeah, they feel hollow. Well, I mean, yeah, they are. Even better. I feel like Less this, to clean out. I feel like this guy's gonna be like $50. I'm, yeah, honestly, like $55. I also like this one. I keep forgetting that when you buy pumpkins, you don't just buy one, like you buy pumpkins. I like making the carvings. And then I like taking one from my grandma to make pumpkins. And so you're this, um, cover look, can guard it? This freaking bee likes Hitachi. It keeps coming back and following the backpack. No, it just stays here. Well, no, because you, you made it go away and then it came back. I don't know what I have in there. Look at all those pumpkins. Look at all those pumpkins. There's a lot. And here we have a wild Chris in his natural habitat. Such a majestic beast. Let's try to get closer. Oh my god, he saw us, he saw us, he saw us, run! I think you can see us, but we found a sunflower maze. Not maze, but like an area. It's cool! I like this area, like all the sunflowers. Yeah, these are like pale yellow though. The ones next over there are like 
orangey yellow. I thought it was gonna be cooler than this because it's in the 70s, but there's no wind and there was supposed to be wind. I'm hot. <laughs> I know we're allowed to pick the sunflowers, but I'm kind of scared to pick them. Okay, can I just say those pumpkins were actually pretty cheap. I was expecting them to be like $40 or so, but they were $12 for the large ones and $3 for the small ones. So if you want inexpensive pumpkins, come to the Underwood Farm if like you're near Simi Valley or, or more park. Come during the week weekdays though. Oh yeah. Because weekends is 22 for entry. Weekdays is $10 for entry. So obviously they're gonna have like petting zoos and stuff like that. But if you go to the far back, there's a ton of pumpkins. Corn maze, which I was gonna film. I filmed like a little snippet, but we finished that pretty quick. I wasn't expecting it to be easy. It was it was pretty easy. And it wasn't like most petting zoos are, where the animal just looks depressed. And they're just kind of sitting there while everyone's just petting them. They had like big things for them and they're walking around. They looked happy. Oh yeah. they. It's like a, it looked like a tiny zoo because there was like walk, walkways and all that stuff. And then you have to walk pretty far though to like where the sunflower fields are and wherever they like do the flowers and the fruits. Um, but we, I chose to walk it. Um, you could have taken the, the tractor, but we, we had to leave the wagon over there. But it's not that bad. But I think that's going to end this video here. I really hope you guys liked it. It's a lot of pumpkins <laughs> that you saw. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Oh yeah, we got mango smoothies too. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video.